Hey guys, Graham here from Smarty Pints. What I'm going to do for you is show you a little bit about the heating element that we were talking about in our previous videos on the rims too. Now, for those of you who have no electrical experience, um, watch some YouTube videos on how to wire something up or get a uh, someone who knows what they're doing because if you're playing with 120, you'll get zapped and you'll feel it and you'll remember it but if you're dealing with 240 or 220 uh, that's more serious and you don't you don't want to be playing around with that if you don't know anything so uh, in my hands I have a heating element that is hooked up for 240 the same will go for 120 electrical wiring is electrical wiring it's pretty much two leads and a neutral so if you see in here I've got two leads um, wired up that is the black and the red they each have their own screw lead Let's see if I could get that for you and they basically just tighten down on each screw and then on the side of the, um, the wall um, is another screw with some nuts and a couple washers for tightening and that's where you put your ground <clears throat> so, like I said, this is a 240, and um, if you see here, this is the packaging that I used, and um, it's basically 10 gauge wiring, and it's a lot more difficult to <laughs> use in this small contraption compared to uh, something a lot smaller and finer, because... Um, with this one, you have to cut it back. I just put some electrical tape to so to uh, keep the uh, insulation still on there and intact. This comes with uh, four individual wires: a red, a black, a white, and then a bare copper wire. So. <clears throat> what you got is you got neutral, ground, um, and then two hot leads. For this one, you don't need the bare copper wire. You just use the white wire. You just cut the uh, bare copper wire back. And you don't need it. So that's how you wire it up. It's the same with the 120, except with the 120, you'll be just dealing with three wires instead of four. I mean, you're still dealing with three here. You just don't use the fourth one. And uh, so, um, that, that's how you wire up the element. Um, now, if you're going with the uh, 120 route, you won't have to do anything special with the plug. If you go with the 240 route, that's something different because um, I had to get a different plug to fit the controller I was using. And I'll go over that here in just a second. So here's the plug and I listed in my video for my setup what kind of plug this is I'll list it here again but um, it'll come together as one piece in the store I've taken it apart so when you, when you, when you do take it apart there will be three screws on the front and two screws on the back. This is to help get your wires through and these screws are to tighten the whole body together. Okay, so this is all slide together. I uh, can't, yep, there you go. You can see the hole, there's one hole there, there's one hole there, and there's another hole over here. Makes a triangle for each one of those screws. And just like with the element itself, you have the three wires that you need to connect. You got your neutral. Of course, when you're dealing with this plug, your neutral will be the bent, the curved one. And then two leads are the two regular shaped ones. Well, the ones that look alike. Those are your, those are your leads, your hot wires, your red and your black. Anyways, you feed those in. You've got a screw just like on the element for each lead to make contact. 
Screw it down, tighten it down. When you're all together, you put this baby all together and you're good to go. Now, just, just like with the other end, you're going to want to cut that bare copper wire off. <clears throat> and remember, this is just for 240. So if you're going with the 120, it's going to be really easy. You just find an extension cord, cut off one end, strip the wires, attach it to your heating element, and you are done. This is just if you're going with a 240 controller that requires this kind of plug, which would be the same kind of plug for the uh, Blickman boil coil or some other heating element um, with the same kind of plug. Um, keep in mind that if you do go with the 240, if you, you're going to need a 240 outlet, uh, that's something all in itself there. It's similar to wiring uh, any other outlet except it's uh, 240. <laughs> so um, I did that all on my own and very proud of it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video on how I wired my plug to the cord to power my heating element. If you have any questions, please let me know.